Yeah, it's looking like it's pretty deep in. Deep! Oh. I didn't know there were stairs here. Where do these go? Oh, God. Famous last word. Where do these stairs go? Already filling up. No! Oh! That sound, though. <gasps> For some reason, I really wanted Void Bastard like visual indicators there. <gasps> Crunch, splort, senior, blurk. Oh, mustard cookie. Oh, good to see you, buddy. And I didn't know about that. But did, why'd you change your name? You were like my favorite NSFW name on the channel. man okay so we're gonna basically do just what we were doing but i think we're gonna try to go into the city this time hey selfie tv how are you today unique death number 132 <laughs> that's right evolution extinct it's like cracking an egg oh mustard cookie got banned by twitch for inappropriate names yeah well, to be fair that that makes sense <laughs> But hey, it was good while it lasted, dude. I'll always remember you as that, buddy. I always will. Hey, Fifth Gear, how you doing today, dude? You'll always be Mr. Sister Fister to me. Okay. Uh, I think we can go in this way, right? Yeah, we go, we go, this is the best way to the city, I think. I think we found a shortcut, but I don't remember where it was. Mm -hmm. I know we can get in this way. Oh, God. Mistakes! Mistakes! God, now I want steak. So I went to this nice restaurant last night. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a restaurant in the area that does, like, really good food. There's not a lot of those, unfortunately, around me. And I went in wearing a pair of black sweatpants and a black shirt that said Doom Eternal on it. If you guys remember my shirt, I have that, that Doom Eternal shirt. So, I ordered takeout, and I went into, and I paid for it, and I'm standing there at the front, and I kid you not, two groups, the first one of four people, and the second of third people, walk into this upscale nice restaurant, look me straight in the eye, and the first group goes, uh, yes, we'd have a table of four that we'd like to sit at, um, if we can do outside, that'd be great. Meanwhile, I am locking eyes with them, and I just go, um, I, I think the waiters dress better here. And the group laughed and walked away. And then a second group came in, a bunch of old white folks, and the guy looks at me, looks at my shirt, then looks at me again. Yes, we have a reservation. What? Like, it literally says doom, eternal, like in giant letters. Like, what about this makes you think I work here? I don't understand. I think it was because I had a black shirt on with black pants. Maybe they thought I was a waiter. But seriously, like, I, I'm sitting here and like, just looking at my, how does this work? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Okay, so, oh, can we detect it in here? Oh, oh, wow. Okay, okay, so it's like, oh jeez, it's, it's way down there. All right, let's turn the lights on in here. I Shrine District, I don't think it's that. 
high energy lab trailhead, maybe? Um. Oh, dude. Uh. How is it still below us? There's, there's, I mean, maybe in here? Yeah, we have to go down, 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 down here. Now, if we wait here for this sand to go up, we can go through this area, but I don't think this area went anywhere. Hmm. Maybe, no, I wasn't too slow, because if you see right here, it's filling up past these, these things here. So once it, like, we, we can't fly into here. We have to wait for it to fill up. But I did this once, I'm pretty sure I did this once before, and it didn't, we didn't find anything. And right, we'll look again. Did I die here, but, did I die here before? I think I, I don't think I died here. I think we went forward and I didn't find anything. Okay, here we go. Maybe we did die in here. Oh, it's the quantum moon. That's that's not what we need. Yeah, this just takes us up. We don't want to go up. Um Now it's below us again. That'll take us up, 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 up. It's right down there. Is Can I go through these buildings, maybe? Is there a path I missed? Could it be on another planet? No, it says it's right here. Like, it's, it's, it's only 200 meters away. Muster Cookie, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that, bud. Yeah, I've got to be missing something. Because this is a completely different area. This is where we learned about the black uh, and white hole stuff. So maybe we don't go through the city. Yeah, I don't think we go through the city. We're gonna, we're gonna come back here. Somebody said, look around the North Pole. We'll look around the North Pole. Sounds like a good idea. Because yeah, this is this is a, a very complex area. Fifth gear with the 600 cheer. Emotes unlocked. Thank you to all the cheers today. You guys are unlocking uh, emotes for random people in chat. So thank you. That's awesome. Uh, we also have Hue with the three years. Lemming with the one year. Go Gecko with the 500 cheer. And Muster Cookie, thanks again for that gift bomb. Awesome. Why well, check out the new Pathfinder content? I definitely plan on checking out the new Pathfinder content someday. Uh, I did just get done with like a, you know, 160 hour Pathfinder adventure, so I've got a lot of other games I want to work on. Also, if you check out the coming soon command, which I will put on the screen so you guys don't have to spam it, um, we've got a lot of games coming up on the channel that I need to start playing for their hopeful imminent releases coming up here at the end of the year. So we'll be checking that out too. I need, I really need to get started on those games soon because we have a lot of them. One of the things that's really going to help, though, is um, we uh, once we have E3 this weekend, we will hopefully be able to get a lot more dates, and that will be super helpful to planning out our playthroughs. 
Parley Thomas says, how do you manage your time? I don't. I just fumble through it and bumble around. Yeah, I don't really I don't really manage anything in my life. Yeah. Hope that helps. Oh, well, there, there's the quantum moon thing, but we already knew about this. Oh, God. Nailed it. Um, are we in the North or South Pole? We need to land to find out. I'm pretty sure that just popped up out of nowhere. We are at the South Pole. So we're at the wrong pole. Let's go. There's the equator and... Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, son of a dingle. Um, Alright, let's try going in there, maybe. Can I even get up that far? Yes! Um. Oh, well, we are actually close to it. Wait, can I go through that? Can I go down there through those cactuses? Uh, what league? What, what am I going to do for the PoE League? We're going to play it for sure. Oh. <gasps> oh. Nice. What am I learning here, though? Coleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole, several days ago, and we're unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much area when he disappeared. I beg any friends reading this, help us recover Coleus. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sed sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and texture appear identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this the same rock fragment in that cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed? We plan to examine the northern lake bed cave. An update. Miller and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it isn't. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Okay. So this is all good in info, but it's not quite what we need. We need to find the lake bed cave off of the North Pole. Is this the lake bed cave, maybe? No. This is just another cave. Take the rock. I know, right? I wish I could. Agoinyo! Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate that 14 months, my dude. Alright, so this... Uh, down here, maybe? We don't, we don't mean all the way down, do we? There's a cave here somewhere. Oh! Wait a second. We went down these before. That wasn't it. Uh. Oh, or maybe it filled up too quick. Maybe that's what happened. We gotta, we gotta hurry. We gotta be super fast. That's probably what's going on. Oh god, smack! Yeah, I got crunched down here. That's what happened. All right, so we may have to come here like very first thing. Yeah, we have to come here like immediately. Okay, okay, that's what we gotta do. That's what we gotta do. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Oh, bummer. Okay, let's go. You have to race the sand. Hey, Gamer Rocco, what's up, man? Who can, can we expect a 100% playthrough of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for the Bikini Bottom Rehydrated? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have never seen an episode of SpongeBob. Now I do have a two year old and an 11 week old, two, two month old and 11 week old. So that may change at some point in the future. But as of now, I've never seen a SpongeBob episode. So yeah. Now you get me a Daniel Tiger game and I am all over that. 
Um, but yeah. It's Tigerific chat. <laughs> okay, so we gotta go to the North Pole, which is this one. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Man, they do not mess around with the gravity in this game. We got it, though, we got it. I'm gonna, like, land as far down as I can this time. We're doing this live, boys. You know what? Close enough. Let's go. Don't even care. We're doing it live. Pew. Ow. Do it live. Don't care. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. This is too deep. I may have gone too deep, chat. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. No, we didn't. Okay, we're good. Go, 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 go. Wow, this place does not mess around. Uh. Uh-oh. Um. Oh, I have made a huge mistake. I'm gonna die down here, y'all. Um. I think this is out the ex. Isn't this where we came in? Pretty sure this is where we came in. Yep. Uh, okay, so we're gonna need to we're gonna need to figure this out here. Oh god. Okay, this is like a hard dead end here. I mean, keep going here. Here? Oh, shoot. Was I too late again? I think I was too late, wasn't I? Go up? I, I'm having trouble going up. Oh, I can go on top of that. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Just not enough thrust. Oh my lord. Um. Okay, okay. Going all the way this time. Oh god. Um, wait, that doesn't seem right. Uh. Yeah, that, that seems rude. Is there, is there another way to go here? It'll fill up and we can go through it then. Yeah, I think that's the only option we have right now. Oof. Okay. Jump it? I don't think so, dudes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We did it live. That's where we came in. Now we're in this room. 
Man, they are not messing around with this area. My lord, dudes. Am I supposed to... There, maybe? No. Ow! Okay. Are these quantum cactuses? Quantum ca- Ah! Um. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God! Oh, come on, man. Um. This way? I was not ready for the quantum cacti. Oh, that's just rude. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this, I have no idea where I am right now. Oh my lord. <laughs> this looks good. Wait, did I go backward? No way. If you come this far to look for Coleus, this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days. Your strange, wandering rock friend is here, though Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observed this unusual rock shard for s in several smaller rocks and at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. What happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one. I was taking notes and my lantern died. When I lit it again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. <gasps> we gotta stand on it. What does this do? What's a light? Nice. Oh, oh, son of a... Ah! Okay. Um. Uh, thanks, chat. A light has to be off. Oh, so I can't see it. Oh, I like that. Okay. Okay. Oh, then I have to turn my flashlight off, yeah? Oh, their bones are... Okay, that's weird. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's go. Cool. How curious. This rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems to be the cleanest, clearest explanation. Hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings, meaning I have to be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Melloray is here now, too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, that being can become entangled with that quantum object and they move together. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He also promises me he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. The one... Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. Is that... Is that the rule? Did we do it? I think that might be it. Yeah. There is more to see. I, I don't know what else there is to see. I, I think that was it right there. I'm pretty sure we can go do the quantum moon now. Whoa, wait a second. What is this? Friends, if you find any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me. We know about this. Are we in the city now? My gratitude, because Coleus was studying KG Lon. Yeah, okay. Okay, this is about the lake bed. But where are we right now? Oh, we're up here. Oh, how cool. Okay. 
Oh, too low? Oh, yeah, we're dead. Whatever. We're, we're going to the Quantum Moon next time. We got this. We don't need air where we're going. <clears throat> Will I be checking out the Google Stadia stream? No, because I can't rebroadcast it, and I'm going to go get lunch during that, probably. Yup. <gasps> oh, the Kanj. Was there, was there a new one? Oh, what, what is it? Oh, Between the Stars? Oh, bro, I already have that on GOG. That is super, super nice of you, Nikanj. But I actually already have this game on GOG. But thank you. Thank you very much. That's that's still super, super nice. If you don't own that, you should check it out. Uh, it's I've been playing it a little bit offline. It's pretty fun. But seriously, thank you, man. Thank you. It's a very cool game. I've only played it, like, for 20 minutes or so. I need to, need to give it more time. When's Danganronpa? Uh, when I come back from lunch, probably around 12.30. Depends on how far I go with this today. We will see. Maybe earlier. Just keep your eyes on my Twitter. Okay, so now we got to find the quantum moon. We know how to do this now. Okay. Where are you, quantum moon? Where are you? Where are you, quantum moon? I know you're out of that. Okay, that's a little moon thing. That's not the quantum moon. Mm. Not over there. Not around. Oh! Hey, oh. Okay. Okay, take a picture of it. That's not good. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna get out. We're on the quantum moon? Did it change? Wasn't this rocky and deserty before? Now there's trees in ish? Um, we need this to be on the, oh, we're on the south pole. We need to be on the north pole, don't we? Can I just like walk through this to get there? How's this gonna work? Nope! Where's my ship? Oh god. I managed to lose my ship. It's just gone. Um. Well. Uh. So. All right. All right, so we know that the pillar needs to be on the north side. I don't know how to get to the north side from the south side. I guess next time we'll need to be in our ship first. It was right next to me? Oh, oh, was it? It was right next to me there? Oh, okay. Eh, what are you gonna do? I saw the scout next to me, but I didn't see my ship. Why cover uh, Tenocon 2019? Yeah. Yeah, if they allow us to watch it, uh, absolutely. I plan on watching Tenocon. Mm -hmm. It was awesome last year. Woo! Was real good. Mm -hmm. Imagine trying to beat this game with one life. Oh, I don't think it's not possible. The game is the game is designed so like things happen like like the cave on the planet's a perfect example. You need more than one life to figure that out, and then you have to go there right at the beginning of a life to get to it. So the whole game's meant to be played multiple times. There you are. Yeah, a game cycle is twenty two minutes and then the sun explodes. So and then you restart, regardless of how well you're doing. There's a speed run where this game has been done in 20, 30 minutes. Well, I mean, it's a little bit different, though, if you know exactly what to do. Like, I, I wouldn't... Speed running this game is a little bit weird because, I mean, you can bypass all the stuff that you would normally need to know, you know? So, 
Yeah, I don't know. Be a little strange. Oh, 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 I think we're in the right place. Yeah, we are. Oh, God. Oh, son of a d mother. God. All right. Yeah, once we know how to do the ending, we could probably speedrun it super quick. Okay, sounds good, Barry. Uh, quick heads up, make sure to check code.tv slash tstore. We're releasing 20 more codes from our, my sponsor, GOG, for the summer sale. So, good luck, everyone. And make sure to check out code.tv slash GOG if you're uh, interested in checking out the sales stuff. <gasps> oh, shit. Wait a second. Uh, no, get, get in. Do this. Recall. Fire, take a picture. There we go. Okay. Hope this is the north side. I think it is. I don't even care. Did we land? Good. No, we're in the south. Wait, how is he here if it's the south pole? I'm going to go into this thing. Hold on. I'm, I, you know what? I haven't explored. This. Oh, there's barely anything on the south pole. Is there anything down here to explore? Maybe not. This place is tiny. Yeah, okay. Oh, woo. No, that's my, my thing. Let's see if we can go to the north one. I'll have to find it again, but whatever. Oh, maybe maybe with that there, it'll stay. That's cool. South Pole again? South Pole again. Oh, but there's a tower. Hold on now. 